Hey guys, it's Brandon from Pixel Planet Studios. Today we're gonna to talk about the final of three free time-saving tools for Adobe After Effects, and this one is called Text Lasso. When you install Text Lasso, make sure to follow the instructions, both to see where to move the files and also to make sure you have JavaScript enabled. I'd say most of the questions I've gotten from our tools stem from this. If you want more detailed instructions, watch the beginning of the Opacity Buddy video, link below. Text Lasso is going to allow us to easily grab text from another layer. So you can see that we have two layers here, the first one being the source text and the second being the destination text. I'm going to drop Text Lasso onto the destination text. Now there's three parameters that we can change. The source, we can select a layer or override and choose parent, layer above, below, or the comp name which will actually pull from whatever you've named the comp. Then you choose what you'd like to separate. You can separate by word, character, line, and you can also use symbols like an underscore or a forward slash to separate. And finally, you choose the index. So let's set the source to our source text. You'll see by default it went to the first word because it is set to separate at words and the index is one. If I set the index to four, you'll see that I get the fourth word. And I can also set it to character which you'll see is actually a space. So let's go to five, six, and seven. And you can see that those are the characters from the word two. We can also do line. So let's set this to two, and you'll see that we have our second line. And we have some options to override our index number. Continue from layer above and below, and use last index number, which you'll see sets it to our last line of text. So let's take a look at how some of these other options work. Let's make this the first word and we'll duplicate it and set it to continue from layer below. And now it says two. And if we duplicate it, it becomes our third word. And then our fourth. And in the final results, you can see what is actually going on since we've overridden the index number here. Okay, so in this example, let's say that we want the last name to automatically pull from this layer. So we'll add text lasso to it and we'll set the source to name and the index to number two. And so this works great, but what if I entered a middle name for some people? Now it thinks that Tyler is our last name because we've told it to use index number two. So this is where we can override and use our last index number. And now if I make this for Eric, everything is working correctly. Let's look at one more example for a very pristine sounding car dealership. How can we easily update this car ad for constantly changing monthly offers? So let's duplicate this and we'll rename it to 2022 underscore Honda underscore Accord underscore 199. And then we'll open it up and we'll select the year, make, model, and price layers and add text lasso. So let's click on the year and we'll set source override to comp name and we'll separate at the underscores and then we'll leave the index at one and now we're pulling everything in the name of the comp before the first underscore. And we'll copy this effect. Now you have to have previously applied text lasso to a layer to be able to copy and paste this effect. And so we'll paste it on the make and we'll select index number two. And we'll paste it on the model and select index three. And you can see that I've used our free tool text buddy to snap these layers together. And finally, we'll paste it on the price and select index number four. And now next month, if the lease price is 205, I can duplicate this and call it 205. And you'll see that the price automatically updated from our comp name. And if I need to make this a 2021 Jeep Cherokee for 250 a month, I can make one called 2021 underscore Jeep underscore Cherokee underscore 250. And now all I need to do is turn on the Cherokee image instead of having to edit each one of these text layers individually. And this is set up so easily that any editor could come into After Effects and change this graphic pretty quickly. So finally, we're gonna look at two examples in which I helped real designers problem solve with a combination of text lasso and our last whole text buddy. So somebody wanted a ticker symbol to automatically snap to the end of the third line. And while you could use expressions or our handy tool text buddy to snap it to the first line, how do we snap it to the third line? So what we've done is use text lasso to recreate our third line and then use text buddy to snap the ticker symbol to the end of the third line, allowing you to have a different font. And I believe that they use this for an essential graphic. 
And this last example shows how you can bold one part of a longer string of text. Here again, we've used a forward slash to separate the text into three different layers. And then we join them again using text buddy. And I can edit this text to say Brandon makes slash cool slash videos and our word cool is now bolded. Make sure to check out our video on text buddy because these tools were designed to work really well together. So that is text lasso. Click the link below and you can download all three tools that we've talked about through these videos. And make sure that you subscribe because we definitely don't want you to miss any of the exciting tutorials or other video production content that we have on this channel. And this is just version one of these tools. So we would love your feedback and any questions or comments or ideas about how we could improve them in the future. And make sure to like this video so YouTube's algorithm knows that it should recommend it to other people.